Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today it's such a nice day today that I thought we'd go to Northweald Market. This is a market that I go to quite regularly. Um, it's a large market with over 200 stalls. Um, at the market you can get anything you want from car parts to uh, street food to clothes to uh, fruit and vegetables. There's a meat van. There really is something for everyone. The whole family can come along and have a really nice afternoon or morning. Um, if, even the dogs are allowed to come. Um, there's lots of dogs there. Um, it's, it's just a really nice place to go. It's free entry, free parking. There's accessible parking with accessible toilets. Um, there really is just something for everyone. As you'll see from the sign coming up, when uh, roughly one mile away, um, we're going to take the A414 exit junction 7 of the M11. So we've just taken the exit at junction 7 and as you can see we're going to follow the exit on the roundabout to go to Chelmsford. And, oh my goodness, there's a lot of traffic here today. It's not normally so busy, um, but that's a good thing because the market must be busy today. So hopefully there'll be lots more stalls and lots of people. So as you can see, we're just coming on the roundabout and we are going to just keep going around the roundabout and we are going to turn off shortly. Here we go, and just after these traffic lights, we're going to take the first first exit left. It is such a nice day today. It's really warm as well. I think it's at about 18 degrees, so it'll be a lovely day. And like I said before, I come to this market quite regularly, and it's such a lovely drive. As you can see... Um, Just look at those country lanes, they are so nice to drive down. I love drive doing these kind of drives, so peaceful. That must be a motorbike behind me. And as you can see the roundabout, so all of these roundabouts coming up, we're just going to take the right exit off of all of them. Um, and there's the sign for the market, it means we're close. Here we go, round and round the roundabout, and we're going to take this exit. The market is very well signposted as you go through, so it is quite easy to find. Um, but like I said, I'll post all the details in the links below anyway, so if anybody wants to go, they'll be able to um, take the address down and the website of the market anyway. Here we go, next roundabout, and we're going to go right again. I think there's three roundabouts on the way. And as you can see, the um, that car that you can see on the right hand side is actually um, coming out of the market now. So the market is actually on the right hand side as we're driving up. There's a lot of cars coming out of the market today. And we're stuck in a little bit of traffic just going up. Sometimes it does get a little busy here um, to get into the market. But they've got a huge car parking space so you never ever not find a parking space here. Here we go, the final roundabout. And as you can see just in front of us, there is a housing estate um, which you're not allowed to park on um, on market days. It is purely residence only. So we do have to go back around the roundabout and just drive down on the left hand side. As you can see, there are all cones out, so we can't park there. Um, but like I said, it's not a problem. The market has a huge car park area. And here we go, just entering the market now. 
just coming into the airfield. Come on, cars. I get so impatient when there's a traffic jam. Anyway, here we go. We're just going to come up and we will get directed as to where to go to park. Oh, look at that plane in front of us. Can you see the statue of the plane? And we're just going to go and find somewhere to park now. The um, the parking is um, it is a gravelly park. Um, it's not a concreted area. Um, so as you can see, it is very bumpy. There are some grassed areas as well, but a lot of it is gravel. Oh, and there's the plane again. Such a nice statue that you can see. Market looks really busy today. Look at all the cars. So many of them. And here we go. We're just going to walk into the market now. Luckily, I brought my cameraman with me today. <laughs> I really didn't want to do all the recording myself today. Look, and as you can see, the first doggy as we walk in. And the ice cream van. Might have to have an ice cream on the way back. There you go. There's the um, details for Northfield Market. We've got Facebook page. Website, Instagram. Looks quite busy in here today. <laughs> Look at that lovely puppy. Here we go. So here we go. We've got the first stall and it is a beautiful flower market. Um, he's got lots of uh, beautiful flowers. Um, he's got some outdoor plants and lilies. Those are huge lilies actually. Outdoor trees. This stall actually does have a lot of different plants, a lot of different flowers. And here we've got little garden statues with plant pots. I think that's a wheelbarrow down there. What's that? Tomato plants? Oh, and chilli plants. Those were huge chilies on that boy's tree. And really reasonably priced as well. Beautiful blue flowers. Look at the colours of them. Lilies again. Roses, huge roses. Blue flowers, white flowers, red flowers, every flowers you can think of. And now we're just walking up through the entrance. We've got all the stalls. As you can see, we've got clothes stalls. There's a fruit and veg stall to the left of us. Selling candy floss strawberries as well. Those are unusual. So we've got makeup stalls with perfume. Really is busy here today. Oh, and the meat, mar meat man, you can just see him. Oh, and here we go, back to candy floss strawberries. I haven't seen those at all. 
before. I've seen the grapes, not the candy floss strawberries. Here we go, back to clothes. more clothes these are more summer um, beach wear type of clothes really brightly colored children's clothes here we go what's this oh we've got a phone shop a man that can fix your phone Ooh, nice flowers lady I bet she got them from that man at the front like I said there really is something for everyone here and all the families out look we've got children you know we've got families and there's even security guards as well so it really is a family friendly place to come the ashtray man he's got all your little bits and pieces um, whistlers that kind of stuff you've got a coffee shop that looks quite pretty with all those uh, sparkly twinkly lights see even the dogs are out today it's, it's a really clean clean market you never see any rubbish lying around you've got the man with the tools toy shops that's the only problem you bring the kids here and you spend a fortune on toys with them ladies underwear that one's not been here before she's new we've got the man with the plus size t-shirts more food stalls you can get a burger or uh, what's that breakfast rolls shoe shop Cushions, duvets. Well, I'm just looking at those dark clouds. I hope it doesn't rain. It feels quite nice though. It's still nice and warm. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't get wet today. This store here, the gentleman's got Elemis and Declior. Gel nail polish. The 
There's a sale on baby clothes here. Men's clothes. More summer dresses. Pet shop where you can get pet bones, you can get pet beds, you can get collars. I think there's a stall further down that does like... um doggy jumpers and personalised collars and things Chinese stall looks like that man wants his breakfast What have we got here? Okay, so we've got a uh, replica shoes, um, Calvin Klein. Oh, here we go. You've also got the, the number plate man. So you can get your number plates made up. Um, I think as long as you have your driving license with you, um, I think he'll make them for you. Pie and mash shop. I've not had pie and mash in ages. This guy in here has got some really funky t-shirts. Men's t-shirts as well. Dried flower shop. Perfect if you want flowers that don't die. <laughs> Garden furniture. Cake shop. More pet beds. Okay, so here they're doing some really nice uh, frames. You can choose which um, which card insert you want in it. Um, and they put little crystals in there and it lights up. I think I'm going to get one of those for my dad. He's been looking after my mum recently. So I think he'd really appreciate that. And it is Father's Day coming up as well. The frames with the LED lights are £20 per frame and they make them, if they haven't got them already made up, they make it on the store there and then. So they sell one and make one basically. And you can stand it up like a picture frame. So. That's Dad's Father's Day present finished. Okay. 
Mm. Here you can get your rock salt lamps if that's something that you're interested in. Very calming. Duvets, king size duvets for fifteen pounds. John Lewis as well. I think we'll have one of them. Oh, and some pillows. We'll get some pillows as well. So for a king size duvet and two pillows, it's just cost uh, twenty pounds. So really reasonable, um, especially considering they're both John Lewis ones. More sweets for the kids. flower shop these are dried flowers um, but they're really nice ones sunglasses shop if you want a new pair of sunglasses replicas obviously but still reasonably reasonably Belly priced and good quality. Sorry, I always struggle with that word. Oh, what have we got here? Let's see. Oh, teeth whitening. So if you want to whiten your teeth, um, you can get teeth whitening gel. handbags and another number plate um person so there's two number plate people in the market and they'll both do a variety of uh, whatever style number plate it is that you're looking for and they will also advise you as to the whether they're legal or not blinds gentleman with blinds I don't know about you, but I find sometimes looking at the internet for blinds and things like that, it's not always good. I'd much rather see them. So it's, it's good that he's here. More food places. As you can see, that food place is quite busy today. Children's clothes.
another pet store with uh, buns and food and everything to make your pet happy This store's always also got things like uh, molten brown in it as well so for those who are a lover of molten brown you can get some of that Here we go, coffee shop, and there was dog water, a bowl of dog water outside, I don't know whether you saw. Um, we'll come back and we'll do a review of the coffee shop later. Watch out for that, I'll post that in a, in a separate video. They do do good coffee though. This stall here in front of us has got a bit of everything, um, anything you want really, though, from wooden spoons to graters to pans to all sorts of things. Just pran and brushes look. <laughs> all sorts. More children's clothes and dresses and things. What's that? Oh, the fishing shop. The fishing man's back. He's not been here for a few weeks. Nice to see him back. He's got everything from fishing tackle to rods to chairs, windbreakers. And there you go. The toilets and the, the facilities are on the right-hand side there. There's something sweet smelling in the air. It smells like donuts. There must be a donut shop coming up. It smells so sweet. You know like when you go to the fairground and you've got the mix of the um, hot dogs and the candy floss and the donuts. Oh, here it is. There is a donut shop. Oh my goodness, there's a donut shop. I'd forgotten about that. That one's not always here either, so. I'm definitely going for donuts later. The man with the rugs, he's always here. He's got some nice ones as well. So here we are, we're coming up to the meat man. He has lots of good deals at the meat van. Depends on what you want. Steak, chicken, he's always... To be fair, I've never bought anything from him, but he's always got a huge queue outside. And he always seems to sell loads of meat. I prefer just to go to the butchers, but I might try him one day. Oh, and the sweets and the cakes. All the pastries and cheeses, rolls, cakes, samosas, 
What more could you ask for? And then here's the healthy man, the fruit and vegetables. <laughs> Mangoes, three pound for a box. You've got uh, oranges, lemons, you name it. And don't forget those candy floss strawberries. Anyway, that's it from here. I think I'm going to go and take a walk around. Um, I've done the filming for you guys today. So I'm going to take another walk around. And then here we've got the ice cream fan again. And I'll just show you the exit. Sometimes I don't know how I find my car in all these cars. Spin me round three times and I get lost. It's no point me parking in a multi-story car park. I always lose the car. Oh well, I'll find her eventually. Oh, here she is. There we go, and as you can see the road out, it is, um, it is very gravelly, um, it isn't a, a true car park in the sense of it's all been tarmacked and whatever. But it's easy to get out, just, just follow the route, you, you'll find the route and just go all the way back round again and it's easy to get out. Oh, and there's a bird just flown straight in front of me. If it's not people, it's birds. Here we go. So as you can see, we're coming. And there is a bit of a queue to get out today. But it is moving, so we won't be here for long. I mean, just look at that view. And there was the plane. Well, that's new. They don't normally have that gate that you can normally just uh, drive straight through. It's usually completely open. Probably just to slow down the traffic. And I think on the right hand side here, I think they're doing archery. So if you ever wanted to do archery, here's the place to come. Open fields, uh, target, no chance of hitting anyone. It is actually a lovely place to come and you can come and see the planes um, during the week as well when the market's not on. And sometimes they have other functions going on here as well. Um, I think they had like a toy car festival happening a few months ago. And here we are, back to the exit. So if you've enjoyed my video today don't forget to like and subscribe and if you check out the comments below there will be um, links to the market.